The background to the Cloud for Gov platform was a collaboration between ourselves and the IDA really about, you know, EMC is in Ireland maybe 30 years now, so we were looking at how we can further invest in Ireland and develop uh, some infrastructure uh, to support the government, support innovation and support cloud computing in Ireland. Obviously as a cloud leader uh, in cloud technology with our, you know, VBlock and uh, VC coalition between Cisco and VMware, we had uh, discussed cloud innovation with the IDA and come up with the platform cloud for gov which is really an infrastructure to support government and innovation whereby we will provide an EMC private cloud appliance to sit on the government network which enables all government departments access to a private cloud infrastructure. But the really, I suppose, cool and innovative thing about this is to have access for SMEs as well. So whilst we'll have a private cloud um, sitting on the government network, we'll also have a, a private cloud infrastructure in EMC's campus in Cork and we've already opened that up to a lot of small, medium enterprise organizations, small developers, so in an open source way, so that any business or any developer could conceivably develop a new application for uh, driving efficiencies across the public sector. Bring that new solution to EMC, we'll host it, test it, and if it's fit for purpose then we can help bring that into the government framework and allow the government to sort of access that. So any department could then potentially come in and maybe look at a new risk management solution, a new security solution, a new uh, financial application, a HR application that's been developed in an open source platform for a cloud environment. I think so, yeah. If it, traditionally the way you know, private and public sector organisations procured software and infrastructure, you know, generally the large software players were successful, the likes of you know, SAP, Oracle and so on. Whereas what this does is it provides a small enterprise company that's developing new applications with a foothold or an entrance into, or non-ramp into selling their solutions into uh, the public sector in Ireland. So for instance, if somebody developed a new uh, software application that drove efficiencies in e-procurement for instance, and it resonated and worked well in government departments here, because by its very nature it's open source, it's on a cloud platform, there's no reason why that vendor couldn't bring that application to the UK, to EMEA, to the States. And EMC would also foster that development and help them develop new markets elsewhere outside of Ireland. So it's a massive opportunity for small business as well. Generally across the whole economy of Ireland, big data is absolutely the next you know, big thing if you like. Cloud, I think everybody sort of understands what cloud's about now. Uh, if you look at all large high tech, high tech companies today, everybody's investing in big data. Uh, every, lots of businesses are now beginning to look at big data, but there's definitely a uh, dirt of information around what, really what does it mean for me. I understand business intelligence, I understand reporting, but how can big data drive value for my business? So EMC is investing heavily in this space. So obviously Hadoop, uh, the Apache open framework around uh, distributed file systems and analyzing huge volumes of data has really drove this big data uh, I suppose, um, phenomenal, so to speak, at the moment, obviously based on the Google uh, white paper which was released from an open source uh, framework environment. So EMC, we've built our Greenplum Hadoop appliance, which is again an open source uh, big data platform, uh, and we see that as massive opportunity, not just for public sector, but private sector. If you look at sort of anywhere where traditionally it was very difficult to analyze huge volumes of data, whether you're in the genome sequencing, for instance, some of our oil and exploration companies off the coast of Ireland, they're you know, surveying massive geological surveys around maps, you know, seismic shifts in patterns across the Atlantic. That data is petabytes and petabytes of data, huge. Traditionally, if you were to run queries or try and analyze that data, it could take perhaps a couple of weeks. Through the whole concept of big data and taking all of that unstructured data and sharing it across multiple processes and multiple different systems and infrastructure in a shared way, the query time is massively reduced down to seconds. So there's big data in exploration, there's big data in uh, genome sequencing, so testing, you know, genome sequencing, DNA testing, like historically, again, it could take weeks to run these big queries on IBM, massive big mainframes, but now the world of big data is open to you know, small business, so you can take a, you know, some of your data, stick it on a private cloud, big data appliance, and then have the ability to run your queries or your algorithms along this big data. So the, the, the opportunity for Ireland, because big data is so new, I think 
Um, if you look at all of the high-tech companies coming here, like Facebook, you've got Twitter, you've got LinkedIn, you've got Google. So all of these high-tech companies are coming to Ireland. They see that we have a wealth of expertise. We've got graduates who understand the whole ICT space. So I think if we develop Ireland as a hub for big data, there's definitely huge, you know, more jobs we can get. Obviously, then there's products and platforms we can design from that, which will, I suppose, create more jobs. Um, even ourselves, EMC, looking at the big data space, you know, it really is new for a lot of different people. And in the States, you can see lots of spin-offs now, Cloudera, uh, Hortonworks, all coming on the back of this. So from a, a, an opportunity perspective, I think if Ireland invests and gets to understand more around big data, there's definitely lots of jobs that can come here, plus lots of revenue and uh, economic benefit to Ireland. The, the science subjects, obviously the STEM subjects, are, are critically important to having that sort of uh, framework of understanding around data. Um, a lot of colleges now, you know, CIT, UCC, you know, in, indeed most you know, third level organisations now are looking to have sort of cloud based courses. You know, big data is actually becoming sort of on the curriculum now as well. The data scientist really is, because it's so new, data scientists, a lot of organisations are looking to employ data scientists. And effectively data scientists are people who understand how to manage that vast wealth of unstructured data. Because like quite as you said, John, we're all familiar with structured data like your SAP, your Oracle, uh, your Microsoft applications. Unstructured data is, you know, seismic surveys, as I've said. It could be photos from Flickr or, you know, YouTube videos. Um, it could be Twitter accounts. So how do you marry all of this data together? And that's where, you know, the open source Greenplum and Hadoop frameworks enable you to ingest huge volumes of data. So the benefits are, I think companies that, because it's all open source, there's an opportunity for new uh, organizations, new startup, new development companies in Ireland to develop new applications based around this open source framework. So sentiment analysis for, for customers, uh, customer churn profiles. So there's lots of different sort of sectors that this, this fits quite rightly and quite readily into. For instance, if you uh, are a, say, Debenhams or somebody like that, and you want to place an ad with Google, the cost of placing, say, wedding as an ad or a concept with Google is probably 50 times less expensive than placing it with Facebook because when you do a search on Google, you go wedding, it comes up with lots of stuff around wedding. But if you place the ad within Facebook, somebody who looks at wedding or the concept around wedding might be a bride, it might be somebody having a stag. So the, the data and the demographic is much more focused. So when, by being able to analyze the data that you have and where you're positioning in it, you can monetize that data. So I think if Ireland can develop become an incubator for big data and help small organizations and indeed medium-sized organizations develop applications around how to extract value from this big data surge. I think there's a huge opportunity for, for Ireland. Historically, when, when we set up a campus, the first manufacturing facility outside of Ireland uh, nearly 30 years ago, the big thing was obviously uh, you know, access to people. Uh, Ireland is a gateway into Europe, so we were the first facility outside of the States, so Ireland very much is a, is a, a foothold into Europe. So obviously the people, the, the presence down in Cork, it was a ready access to a manufacturing population. So at the time, manufacturing in Ireland was, you know, was the boom. We had lots of huge companies here doing lots of manufacturing in the ICT space. Uh, obviously then the IDA was very supportive, the government was very supportive. Uh, of EMC and our expansion through the years. So initially it was you know, the manufacturing base here, a foothold into Ireland, and uh, the graduates, the skills that people had around manufacturing. But the funny thing is, like, we have 2,500 people in Ireland today. We were once the largest manufacturing organisation outside the States. Today we've only got about 20% of the workforce actually focused on manufacturing. We've got 44 other business functions, whether it's finance, research and development, solution design, engineering. Indeed, a lot of the product we bring to market will test design. Uh, manufacture, ship, uh, configure out of Cork. So uh, EMC as an organisation in Ireland had to go through a, a massive transformation as well. I think if we'd remained a manufacturing company, it'd be a totally different company as we have today. Now we've got a company, you know, 45 different functions, 28 different nationalities, all doing many, many different functions uh, to support the whole EMC global machine.